What's up, everybody? Um, I wanted to give you an update to let you know that I'm going to be trying out new content or change things up just a little bit on the channel. So let me know what you think of this video down below and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And videos might be coming out a little bit slower than normal just while I figure things out and see how you guys respond to the content. So in this video, we do a Reddit recap of my subreddit. It's r forward slash Sasha. You could check that out. And we dive into Am I the A-Hole? It's a subreddit we really love on our live streams. We're also going to see my high school yearbook photo. I honestly don't know why people post these things. It's really creepy. They're like really bad photocopies. Anyways, check it out. I hope you enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and all that stuff. Lil Uncle's yearbook photo. I think it's creepy. I'm just going to say it. I like this May person. They contribute a lot to our subreddit. But I think it's creepy when random people just decide, oh, she was in my yearbook. Here, I'm going to post this. Also, this is weird because it's definitely been altered. My hair was not that color. It says colorized. No, it says color version. Like, what, did I go to high school in 1932? There was no color back in my day. Everything was sepia and black and white. Looks like the hoops haven't changed. Good eye. Hoops haven't changed either, see? While we're at it, I'll just embarrass myself more. The far left is... That's third grade. There was a Tweety Bird right there, by the way. That's 90s chat. That's 90s. The middle picture looks like a sixth grade classmate of mine. His name was David. <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot because so this era, the far right black and white one, during that period, my friends in class would be like, you'd be hella cute if you're a boy. I was like, damn, feels bad, man. Far left is third grade. And I remember one of my best friends and I from childhood, we did this thing every picture day where we would make each other laugh. So that's the only reason I'm even smiling in that photo. That was elementary school. Then skip to middle photo. Middle photo is eighth grade. And yes, that is a puka shell. And yes, that is how I did my hair for like three years. I'm smirking like an asshole because my friend was no longer there to make me laugh. So that was like, smile. This is me like, that's all you get. Then of course we have senior pictures. Senior pictures, my mom made, was like, please smile. So that was a smile for my mom. Awkward and uncomfortable. Anyways, there you go. Who, who are these creeps that stay anonymous and post school pictures of people and weirdos? <laughs> Let's go to Am I the Butthole. Am I for refusing to forgive my dad for breaking our deal? When I, 17 male, was eight, my parents bought me a piano and signed me up for lessons. I was super excited because I love music. I play at school concerts, accompany the school jazz choir, and play once a week for the residents at a couple of retirement homes in our town. How wholesome. When I was 15, I started to talk about quitting lessons and my parents quickly tried to guilt me out of it. My dad proposed a deal. If I kept playing and taking lessons until I reached level 10 CM, Royal Conservatory of Music, and continued to keep my grades up at school, he would buy me a new car of my choice. I jumped at it and we shook hands on the deal. I should explain that my family is well off financially. Okay, now this all makes sense. I have a very privileged life, but I wouldn't say I've been spoiled. If I ever want a luxury item like a new phone or game console, I have to buy it myself with my with money I've saved from summer and after school jobs. I should also explain that my dad's big on loopholes. <laughs> Dads are the masters at loopholes. When we compete, he always finds a way to win. Oh, that's mean. And when I do it, it doesn't count because of some loophole. It drives me nuts, but he thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> Whenever I complain about him not playing fair, his answer is always the same. Life isn't fair. <laughs> So because of our deal, I kept up with my lessons. I spent about one to two hours a day on piano while keeping my grades up. Last summer, I took my level nine RCM exams and passed fulfilling my part of the deal. I told my dad I'd chosen the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid SUV, dang. A couple of months ago on my birthday, I came downstairs for breakfast and my dad told me there was a surprise waiting for me in the garage. I ran out and sitting in the middle of the floor was a one to 24 scale toy BMW X5. My dad burst out laughing and said, a deal's a deal. So as promised, here's your brand new BMW. My heart absolutely broke. I asked if he was being serious and he said, I couldn't seriously have expected him to buy a 17 year old, a real brand new BMW and that we could discuss getting me a reasonably priced used car. Ever since this happened, I've been distant with my dad. I honestly feel like he betrayed my trust and that he deliberately made a fool out of me. Am I the a-hole? Oh, this is good. This is a good one. I, I, 
I got to side with the dad. Like, yeah, we might have money, but you think I'm going to buy a 17-year-old, a brand new BMW SUV? What? What does that teach you about life? Nothing. Nothing at all. But it is kind of cruel. It is kind of cruel. I also feel like I would do something. <laughs> I would love to do something like this to a person. It's funny. Didn't say a real one. It's a toy one. It's still a car. Are you guys paying attention? Not to put too fine a point on things, but this kind of broken promise and betrayal are how trauma bonds are formed. This is a form of abuse and causes serious trust issues and dysregulation in future relationships. Uh, again, man. Again. We're hearing about a freaking shiny toy that the dude did not get as a 17 year old kid. We're not talking about the dad lying about life altering circumstances. Two totally different things. Was it a manipulative approach to get the kid to keep playing piano? Yes. Don't parents manipulate their kids all the time into doing things that are good for them when the kid doesn't want to? Yes. I don't want to say the kid's being a butthole, but he's, he's bratty. He's entitled, for sure. This was a good one, but I I can't believe... I, I think this needs a, deserves another tag completely. This is... We're still in top this week? Yes. Okay. Um, Sasha's got away with words. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fla... Fla... Ming... Ming... Go... Go Flamingo Penguin! <laughs> ah! It's penguins! <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'll, never li <laughs> I'll never live that down. I'll never live that down, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is really a perfect meme. <laughs> he even photoshopped the hair onto it. If you rearrange the word flu and avian flu, you get full. And I ain't no full. It ain't real, brother. <laughs> This is a great. Don't live in fear, MAGA. Make eggs great again. Stop the avian flu pandemic. <laughs> eggs. Uh, Sasha the truther. Avian flu. Do your research. <laughs> it's big. Pharma, uh, trying to make eggs more expensive. It's true. <laughs> Agent Gray by May. Dude, this is so sick. This is so freaking sick. Look at that Aston Martin. I love this. It is well done. Am I the a-hole for walking out of a restaurant on my girlfriend? Girlfriend and I were having dinner at a restaurant when she got a text from her best friend who recently gave birth. And she said, oh my God, she got a C-section. She works as a nurse. So she then explained to me the type of incision they make for that and how it'll leave a scar. I then, as a joke, said, at least she'll still be tight down there. <laughs> My girlfriend looked confused and then said that it was a weird comment to make about her friend. <laughs> ah! Okay, hold that thought. I then said it's a very normal joke to make and she disagreed. I said to her, you're so insecure. And then she goes, does it make you feel good to call me that? So then I got really frustrated, got up and walked out of the restaurant and drove home. She called me several times. I drove both of us there, but I was so frustrated and just wanted to get home. So I turned my phone off. She showed up at our apartment 30 minutes later and was really pissed, called me an a-hole and overreacted. And then she waited in the cold for 20 minutes for a uh, boober. Am I the a-hole for walking out on her and leaving her there for being frustrated? Ah! Well, yeah, grow up, get over it. You had a petty argument. Uh, your girlfriend has no sense of humor, but that doesn't mean you should just strand her at a restaurant. You're definitely the a-hole. I have also made that joke to my friends. I have also made that joke to my guy friends whose partners have had C-sections and everybody laughs. It is a very common joke to make. I think he needs a new girlfriend, but he was still an a-hole for this move. I wanna know how old they are. Am I the asshole for not for not letting my friend and his fiance move in with me? To me, this is simple, that I've done nothing wrong. But some people are saying I'm an asshole. So I'd like the opinion um, of this fine sub. So I am 28 male and my friend Tom is 29 male and his fiance Kat is 
31. I am female. Recently, Tom and Kat have come into financial issues and are unable to pay for their rent. As it stands, they can either move in with Kat's parents who live roughly two hours away or they can move in with me until they find another place to rent. Now they would rather move in with me. I live alone in a three bedroom house, so I have the space. There's also a lot of parks nearby so Kat can take her dogs for walks. That's all well and good for them. However, the idea of living with someone, let alone two people, does not sit well with me. I have one bedroom where I sleep. The other two bedrooms are my home office and my library. Furthermore, I love the feeling of coming home to an empty house. Everything is as I left it and I can properly unwind. Also, living alone makes it easier to bring girls over. So I told Tom and Kat this and they were not happy. They called me selfish for not sacrificing for them. They said a true friend would help. So I told him the blunt truth. I would be happy to help Tom. He works full time and would respect my space, but I did not want Kat to live with me. Reasons being, she doesn't work. So she would be in my home much more than me. Her dogs are inside dogs and I don't want that at all. And I told him that Tom has told me privately he gets frustrated that he comes home from work and still has to prepare dinner and do most of the chores. I told Kat she's lucky she's with someone who tolerates her and loves her, but I'm not like Tom. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> Cat breaks down crying at this point and calls me evil. I don't get what I want. Let me cry. Ugh. I apologize to Tom and I tell him he knows my stance. This happened late last year. Right now, Tom and Cat are living with Cat's parents still, and I know it's hard for them. My mates know how Cat is and told me I did the right thing. However, people who are close to Cat are saying I'm a terrible person, and I put them in a situation which might ruin their relationship. Whoa, 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 whoa. So am I the asshole for not letting them move in? For putting them in a situation which might ruin their relationship? First of all, get a job. He did nothing. Are you joking? Listen, listen. You know we all have that friend. We all have that friend who always takes a little bit too much, scavenges a little bit too much. She definitely sounds like that friend. She definitely sounds like that friend. He absolutely did nothing wrong here. And in fact, letting your friends move in, one of which who doesn't actually have a job, that is gonna potentially ruin the friendship. And he even gave them the option for the dude to move in with him. I mean, I don't know if he gave it to them, but he said, eh, if it was just the dude, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But she doesn't work. She has dogs. They're inside dogs. Uh, that's a lot of red flags, man. Am I the butthole for embarrassing my son in front of his friends and canceling his birthday party? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My son is 16, turning 17, had friends over, going over the plan for his birthday. I rented rooms at a resort for skiing and snowboarding for a three-day weekend. They started talking about all sorts of things, though, and eventually the topic of my son's sexuality came up. My son is bisexual and has dated both girls and boys. He's currently dating a boy. Neither me or, my, or our family have any issue with this. They're asking him when he realized he was bisexual, when he came out, when he first dated a guy and what were the differences between guys girls etc eventually they ask him what's his preference he says naturally i don't have a preference i'm attracted to guys and girls the same but after dating girls and guys i can say women are not worth the trouble that last part caught my attention and i asked him to explain what he meant i told him if women aren't worth the trouble then neither am i so i wouldn't be doing anything for his birthday he just started at me i think she means stared he just stared at me so I said, that's what happens when you're a sexist jerk in front of his friends. He hasn't spoken to me and members of our family are saying I shouldn't have said that and I shouldn't have canceled his birthday party. I think canceling is, this is his mom, yeah. He triggered his own mom. They're both assholes, based by boy. <laughs> Um, questionable parenting, insecure, and taking it on your kid. I agree with that. Low emotional IQ, absolutely. Definitely sounds mom is being petty. Mom is being a butthole. I don't think she should have canceled the trip, but I don't. I actually don't have a problem with what she said in front of the. Then neither am I. Like the neither than I'm part. That's fair, especially if you're if that pisses you off. But I actually think it's more important to have the conversation with your kid to understand why they're saying this and what what's going on or what happened in their life actually have an open conversation instead of just canceling plans but it doesn't sound like mom even has great communication skills so it's probably too late that ship has probably sailed already mom proving based by boys point <laughs> i'm gonna change my title based by bitch <laughs> That, my friends, is the end of our recap on Reddit because we don't have enough content. So if you want to do more of these, here's my okay. subreddit.
All right, that's it for today. I just want to update you with this little highlight. Let me know what you think in the comments below.